Round one, match one, Pinkroid versus True Whale. And apparently the first pick goes to the side of Pinkroid. Very important, the pre ban right here, Evan, because since they know those boxes, what is Pinkroid the most afraid of? We're gonna find out right now if he's gonna pre ban something like the Jaeger to not have to deal and kind of tell him that he's gonna play CC. He pre bans the Ragdoll, afraid of those AoE hits, and on the other side, True Well pre bans the Water Ryu. Very expected. Right, and that's the sort of pre ban that's going to set the tone for the night. That is very meta appropriate, what we're seeing here. Now we get into the real pick ban phase. Of course, Okeanos getting locked down on the first pick by Pinkroid. That is so classic. And very interesting in here, he already gets the Ponto speed lead and protection against the Oki with the Gany to ventilate someone that's reset, but interestingly enough, he didn't split the Chunk Punk. Let's see if Pinkroid goes for it. No, but he brings another powerful wind unit with a strip. Savannah, kind of afraid of what might come. He knows that if he puts too much control on the table, he can get a Jaeger and a Juno right to the face, so he chooses to bring some sustain and some damage. Right, laying out your strategy like that can really make it easy for True Whale to adapt, especially when he's on the lookout for it. He's already got Ponto, so he's got a ton of immunity there. Here's Chung Punk, so now he's splitting the combo there. Chung a little, on his side. A little bit dangerous, too, because he's now on double win, not a lot of damage in this comp. And here's the Juno response, like we talked about. Really good from Pinkroy. I feel that the True Well comp so far lacks a little bit of damage, so he'll have to have a lot of control and maybe a less pick that it's very impactful to try to get that ban. Finally, Pinkroy thinking about this last pick over here. Verda Hill is really good. Oh, and that's what he does. Just as you said, Verd, probably one of the most popular picks against AoE, and Tion Lang seals up True Whale's draft. He's going to be count he's going to be gaining a lot of attack bar inadvertently from this comp, so let's see who they decide to ban. The question is, is Pinkroid afraid of the high counter of Tion Lang, which is probably the ban on his side, or will he want to just take it's out the immunity and that's what he does? I think that right now Pinkroid has a very strong draft against True Whale's composition. Let's see if this Verda Hill is on triple revenge. It's gotta be bio revenge verse. He's gotta be. Man, it's so dangerous staring down the barrel of a load of Tion Lang. Here we go. Bomb go out. Oh, man. No two, counter. But two big silences. Look at that. Now he can't respond with anything. Chung Pong lining up to try to strip that immunity potentially. And remember, he has another AoE sil silence coming on from Pontos. Here it comes. He's thinking he has to go for the strip basically, and we see a little delay. Misses the oh, strip to Chung Pong. So that is so crucial. If he wants, he can reset the Oki here if he didn't already get reset by that first Chung Pong. To guarantee it, Danny is irresistible. He does it. Now he doesn't need to worry about it. He can protect his team, take out that silence from the bomber, and the problem now is once again another resistance on the other side. The friend can protect the team right now. Goes for it because he knows that the Verda Hill laps, and now he can put protection and not get reset by the chunk bomb. Pinkroid looking for an opportunity to do something impactful here. He's getting turns, but he's not able to make anything stick as long as that immunity is on the table. The interesting thing is that on both sides, many strips missed. Now the Chunk Punk can't do anything. It has to wait a little bit. The Gany has to ventilate. The choice now is do I go defensive on Pontos or offensive on the Painter? In this case, a great defense is the perfect offense. If he can just stay by and not take damage, he can just inadvertently do a little bit of incremental damage to Pinkroid's team. Yeah, I just feel that Pinkroid's draft was very strong, and with the Verde Hail and the Friend, the sustain, and finally a counter from the Verde will be really hard to lock down. I think this match is practically over, Evan. Savannah goes out, tries to land something on there, doesn't actually get any return. Chung Pung is going to die on his upkeep, and Fran is just keeping herself healthy. Yeah, right now it's a three. B4 with a Verda Hill on the other side. He has protection, but like we said, he lacks damage. He didn't have any opportunity to really kill anyone. When the Chunk Punk didn't get the strip and also the follow up, he didn't get a proc to reset. That's game over. Very strong draft. I feel like Pinkroid won this one out right in the pick and ban face. Pinkroid taking the first point of the night in the RTA Season 16 Legend Tournament. Now, in that case, Pinkroid took a lot of heal sustain and a lot of turn advantage, which ended up getting him the win there. Pontos was really cool as a defensive option. The only thing is that he wasn't going to be able to out sustain. Yeah, like we said, it was very dangerous picking double wind the Gany and the Chunk Punk, he missed a little bit of damage. It was easy to counter with Juno and Verd, like we talked about, and props to Pinkroid for reading the draft. And maybe now True Will can adapt and try to bring a composition that can give him more damage and more ways to deal 
with the sustain from Pinkroy. Everything's on the line here. He has to win this next one. If he can't get a point on the board, that's good night for True Whale, unfortunately. And now he has the opportunity to use Ragdoll, actually, because the pre-ban, remember, can't be the same. So maybe we'll see some Water Ryu, Ragdoll action, but remember, Ragdoll is a very strong counter to Water Ryu. So will Pinkroy predict that and already think of bringing something else to deal with the composition? One might negate the other one. Here we go, round two of match one, Pinkroid versus True Whale, with Pinkroid having the advantage. He's got his eyes on the finals already. Yeah. Now There's that pre-ban. Now he's gonna change for something different. He sees that he's not that worried maybe about the Jaeger um, or if he wants because the first pick now is gonna go to True Whale. So probably he'll take the Okeanos away. He goes for the Pontos, interesting. So that says, I'm still playing control. I don't care that much about the monsters you have. And we'll probably see True Whale taking that Okeanos and let's see how Pink Roy responds. Maybe we'll see more Beast Riders appearing. We haven't seen Barbara yet. That's right. <gasps> Pink Roy. Oh, there's he that water. The so fast the water Ryu was slammed onto the table. Pink Roy following up with Ciara and an Okeanos. Really good answers to both of those. Ciara with the detonation being able to get through water Ryu's passive. Yeah, I'm very afraid of that first pick. I would have liked more of an Okeanos here to take it away from Pink Roy. We know how hard it hits, but he brings right away the Ragdoll, even though the Ragdoll is so strong against the Water Ryu. He brings the combo with the Savannah, taking it away, but now the answer, oh, Tian Lang, the counters, the Ragdoll as well. And uh, now, um, True, True Whale was in a position where he wanted to ban that Oki. You could almost see it in those picks. He wanted to ban that Okeanos, but then Pink Roy just follows up with that Tian Lang, puts him in a really difficult position. But now he has double speed lead, double starter. The thing is, if he bans the Savannah, if True Whale doesn't have the Savannah, does he have enough follow up to take care of Pink Roy? I don't think so. And that last pick tells me he has oh. the Savannah. Great ban from Pink Roy. This might be another shoe in for him. If he resists any of those silences or resets, Evan, it's game. True Whale is going to have to make something happen right now. These opening turns are so important for him. Let's see who gets the first turn. Oh, what a read. Actually, here's great strip and attack bar reduction, but Tian Lang is just benefiting over here. But Tian Lang doesn't get the oh, stun no. on the bomber, and now Every everyone silence. is silenced and reset. He has to pass it back. This is the pass back, but Ciara can cycle out of it. Remember, the only problem is that with Tian Lang on your team, your Ciara gains half of that attack bar. Let's see the punishment. Can he kill? Can he kill? What are you doing? True Whale already making Pinkford play a three to four monster deficit so early. Excellent job, True Whale. He got out the sustain early, and now it's everyone against Ciara. Ciara has the opportunity to solo this, but she will need a couple procs because the Okeanos is gonna die as well, and it's a 3v2. Two. She needs one bomb, two bombs, and needs to resist, to not die to this p -cent. She has the first bomb. She goes for Ragdoll. Very well thought out. He has to risk it here and kill this Ragdoll to get rid of him. Yes! That's it down. Pinkroid firmly saying, I'm not out of this just yet. I want that point as much as you do. I still think that Ciara has a big solo chance right here. That reset comes in, but now she's too low for this PSM. PSM's gonna kill her, and this is bye bye. What a great first turn for True Will, killing the Fran outright and taking the match. That sustain would have changed everything, Evan. He established such early dominance in that game and he absolutely had to. True Whale did such a great job adapting to that and there it is, that's the power of Water Ryu. We talked about, it was all about the resist and the silence and the thing was Tian Lang did not do his job. He didn't stun the bomber and once the Cabal bomber came in and silenced everyone, the sustain from Fran gave a huge opening. So very well thought out and what we talked about the last match, adaptation. He needed damage, and the damage was Ragdoll. With that beautiful proc, he killed the frat. That was excellent. Man, Silence, such a great option for True Whale. Basically saying, I get to decide what your monsters do when you get to play with them. You're not really playing your turns. Mm -hmm. I am. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a round three on our hands before we move on to the next phase. Let's go ahead and see Pinkroid versus True Whale. This is going to determine who moves on to the finals. Deciding match, Evan. First pick for Pinkroid once again. Maybe we'll see the similar pre-bans to the first one, or knowing that he can take that water Ryu, maybe True Will tries to change the pre-ban a little bit here and lets Pinkroid take it and steal the Okeanos. Nope, same thing. We're back to round one with our pre-bans right now. I think Pinkroid is really happy about it. Maybe True Will will try to change that third to fourth pick with the Chung Pung double win to not make it that easy for Pinkroid. And Okeanos should be seen on this side once again. 
there he is. Okeanos locked down right away. True Whale, not one to want to get double reset, and he's got better uses for the Ganymede. Anyway, he takes it. Mm -hmm. And the Pontos, once again, I like those first two picks as response. The problem last time was the third and fourth. Let's see if Pink Roy continues with the same team or makes True Whale kind of have to adapt even harder. He can take as well the Chung Fung, but last time he didn't. So maybe he'll stay with the same one since he won the first match. That's where I would struggle in this situation. Do you want to add more pressure by mixing up your draft, or do you want to play with what you know? It is the Legend Tournament. This is the end of the season. This is the one that matters above everything else. Here comes Fran and Savannah. So it looks like Pink Roid is opting for what is good and what works. Same two picks. We're seeing how strong Fran has been in this matchup with the sustain, the protection. There's no strip on that side yet, and he and brings he the Chung Pung again. Is he thinking about it? So he picked Chung Pung and Bomber. He changes. I like this better. Vert Leo would be a very interesting response to this Savannah Oki because the stuns last last time. He doesn't get the attack bar reduction. Brings the Arda, who doesn't get that broke. And Praha, what a surprise. I don't know about that because he can bring in a Diana last pick here, but then the Arda is a big counter to it. So it's a little bit risky. And see, he's bringing the Tian Lang. Diana is not a good fit. You're picking the counter to the counter mm -hmm. with it to try to outthink Pinkroyd. He's settled on the Tian Lang for the most part, and that's a great one because we've already got a couple monsters here that gain attack bar. So he's going to be gaining by proxy, though you're also hindering your Okeanos yeah. just a little bit. But oh my oh, god, no Poppy! Big Poppy Daddy! <laughs> Finally he's here! I was telling you earlier today, he brings the bearing once again, the bomber. Um, this time I feel that if the ban is on Arda right here, he might be missing a little bit of damage once again. Let's see if that's what he thinks of doing or if something changes because the Okeanos is going to be very decisive here. He has a speed lead, maybe he wants to outspeed and ban that. Um, it's going to be a very interesting pick and ban. I see a couple options for both of them. Yeah, and both players have reason to be afraid of the other's immunity. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to land something. True Whale wants silence. Looks like they go ahead and lock that out. True Whale doesn't want to get one shot by the Reckless and Pink Roy doesn't want to get silenced as often anymore. Yeah. He's got half the opportunity to get silenced now. This is a big opportunity for Pink Roy right now because we're going to see how impactful this Tian Lang can really be. There's gonna be immunity on the other side, but he has to shine. Goes for the reset, Okeanos hits it! And he lands it. That's huge. This is it. The final round of the first match gets a stun on top of it for Pontos, and Praha got stunned in the mix. Huge double stun, but remember, Praha has the strip for the friend, but now there's gonna be a gigantic opening. Friend's gonna buff, and then he gets the death break on two monsters! The punish is gonna come with the Rain of Stones from Okeanos. Additional damage on those artifacts. We know how hard it hits. Evan, I think this might be it. This Let's could see. be... Oh, oh he, he was reset, reset by the Gany. You're right. You're, he got reset. That would have been huge. But, now but, he's but the Savannah get gets the hit. Now? He can, can he kill? Shot. Yes! He can one-shot it. The Okeanos, even without the Rain of Stones, he hits super hard. The game is going to be punished once again, and he has no way of getting rid of the death break unless he procs. He procs out of it. Oh, Ganny is safe temporarily, but here comes Tian Lang trying to land something, and he's just not landing those debuffs tonight. Yes, and now this Ganny had a very important proc because that means that he gets the seal magic a little bit earlier, but how do you deal with this amount of damage? You need to protect yourself with the Pontos and hope that you get some extra turns with the Ganymede to keep resetting and controlling the opposing team. I'm getting a weird amount of deja vu here. We've seen this before from True Whale's side where he tries to armor up on his turn and just try to wait out the damage. Pinkroid has got a loaded cannon in Savannah. He got the proc he needed, Evan! He can reset one more time. The question is, do I go for Okeanos or do I go for the protection right now? What is he gonna do? He goes for the protection. He goes for friend, doesn't want any sustain, but can he withstand the amount of damage that's coming out from the other side? Pontos here with the potential silence. Let's see how many he lands. Can he get the full team? Gets the full team silence. Beautiful, but the Okeanos has a chance to pass it back and he does so. The question right now is, he can protect the team. The Oki will have the cooldown back, but the Pontos is very good here. Look, this guy is getting punished. He's almost dead. And the heal from Arda is still on cooldown. Can this Gany survive long enough to deal damage? Because the Arda is not hitting that hard yet. True Whale doing a valiant effort right now, but he's hanging on by a threat. Ganymede doing his best impression of a wall, trying to absorb damage and ventilate his team while he can. He's trying to be the healer that his team needs. He needs lots of stuns from this Artemio. The friend doesn't crit. Here it comes. Can he get rid of this heal? Oof! 
Almost. He just needs half more. Half of that again to kill the Fran. He's poking away. He's using every turn he can. Trick missed it. Oh, okay. A proc from Gandhi can be gigantic. He kills it. Doesn't proc. So it's going to be a trade. No. She doesn't kill the Gandhi Evan. Was that a miss crit? I think I think she did. Now he's all he's healed back up to 50%. He's still on the table. Gany has been doing such a great job of just soaking up damage this whole game, taking Pinkroid's attention away from other places. The Okeanos, even with immunity, uses Worth the Rain it. of Stone for the damage. Great choice from Pinkroid. Now the panda has to shine. Doesn't no, strip or stun. The Gany can reduce attack bars and have a huge opportunity. Does he go for the heal? Does he go for the reduction? He has to reduce. Does it no proc on this side? Oh, and the Arda doesn't die. That was so important. Look at Trick Whale's HP bars. He's hanging on by a literal thread right now, just trying to get as many pokes as he can. Without the proc from the Pontos, he didn't have any protection. Gany proc, but it seems like it's a little too late for this composition to get rid of the whole team because this Tian Lang gets in the death rate. The Okeanos shiny once again and takes the victory for Pink Roy. Pink Roy.